Hello and welcome to the 40F tutorial in the Cocos 2DX JavaScript tutorial series. And in this tutorial we'll be looking at sprite animations. We did sprite actions earlier on in this series. It was very boring because the actual actions themselves, they were generally static. We gave it an action duration, but they were just static throughout. So we're going to add some animations to them to make them look more like how they would be in real games. This tutorial soon you've done tutorial free. If you haven't, there'll be a link in the description to the source code. And as usual, there'll be a link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the project from tutorial free. Once it's open, you wanna to go to the myapp.js and then below where you've added the sprite as a child, you want to create an action. So var sprite underscore action equals cc dot move by dot create. Open close bracket. In here, first we specify the action duration. I'm going to simply put two seconds. Then we specify how much we want it to move by. We'll put cc dot P open close bracket and put 100 pixels in the X, 0 pixels in the Y. And now, last thing is just to run this action. So it's this dot my sprite dot run action open close bracket semicolon. Inside, we're going to specify the action which is sprite action. Just sort out the formatting of the code, and now we're ready to run in the simulator. As you can see, over a period of two seconds, it moved to the right of 100 pixels, but it was very boring because it was a consistent speed throughout. You may want it like this, but sometimes you'll want it to be a bit more sort of dynamic. So let's just change the actual action itself so it has an animation applied to it. You can do this simply by enclosing the action in brackets and doing cc.ease bounce out. This is just a particular animation. I'm going to cover two animations in this tutorial. If you have any questions about any other ones you can f message us um, via Facebook, via Twitter or via YouTube. But better yet, just go into Google and Google Cocos 2 dx JavaScript references and you should be able to find their page and they've, they've got all the API functions on there that's the best way to do it. but like i said if you want to message us feel free we don't have a problem with that and then you want to do dot create now if we run it we'll see what we see saw before but with an animation as you can see it bounced in and out when it arrived at the end i'm going to put it at five seconds so you can see a little better There you go. Obviously, five seconds. I personally think doesn't look very good. I think two look better, but that's up to you how many seconds you want it to be applied for. The next animation we're going to look at is ease exponential out. So let's remove the bounds and put exponential. Click run. What this does, it moves fast and they start slowing down towards the end. Sort of like how a car or an object in real life would stop. It doesn't an object in real life doesn't just halt instantly from I don't know, sixty miles per hour to zero. It gradually slows down. So this is a great way to implement a feature like that into your game. This is it for this tutorial which covers sprite animations. Like I said all those required source code will be in the description. If you have any questions feel free to message us. And the next tutorial will be covering how to set up the accelerometer to use. Thanks for watching.